Josh Duggar has asked a federal judge for a new trial or an acquittal, six weeks after he was convicted of receiving and possessing child pornography. In a court filing Wednesday, Duggar's attorneys argued that prosecutors failed to present evidence that Duggar knew that the visual depictions were of a minor engaging in sexually explicit conduct, which they say is a necessary element for a conviction. A jury found Duggar guilty last month on one count each of receiving and possessing child pornography. A sentencing date hasn't been set for Duggar. He faces up to 20 years in prison and fines of up to $250,000 for each count. Ginger Duggar mourns her adopted Nana, she went home to be with the Lord. Federal authorities said they began investigating Duggar after a Little Rock police detective found that child porn files were being shared by a computer traced to Duggar. A federal agent testified in May that images depicting the sexual abuse of children, including toddlers, were downloaded in 2019 onto a computer at a car dealership Duggar owned. During the trial, Duggar's lawyers argued that someone else downloaded or uploaded the images onto Duggar's computer. Click here to sign up for our entertainment newsletter Duggar and his large Arkansas family starred on TLC's 19 Kids and Counting until the network canceled the show in 2015 following revelations that he had molested four of his sisters and a babysitter. Authorities began investigating the abuse in 2006 after receiving a tip from a family friend, but they concluded that the statute of limitations on any possible charges had expired. Click here to get the Fox News app. Duggar's parents said he confessed to the fondling and apologized. At the time, Josh Duggar apologized publicly for unspecified behavior and resigned as a lobbyist for the Family Research Council, a conservative Christian group. He later apologized for a pornography addiction and for cheating on his wife, calling himself the biggest hypocrite ever. The Associated Press contributed to this report.